Now to the latest news of the day in other areas, and we start with a sense of relief tonight after arrests in two separate stabbing sprees yesterday that really did put New Yorkers on edge. Today, New York cops say they caught the man wanted for stabbing two people in the subway, one in Columbus Circle, the other in the Bronx. Meanwhile, the man charged with stabbing five people in Queens now also linked to a stabbing yesterday on a subway in Brooklyn. Cops arresting Germain Rigor last night after a citywide manhunt. Let's get the latest. That was reporter Lauren Glassberg live at the courthouse in Kew Gardens where Rigor is expected to make his first court appearance soon. Lauren. Yeah, Bill, that arraignment is expected sometime after 5.30 tonight, and Jermaine Rigor is facing a number of charges, including attempted murder, assault, and criminal possession of a weapon. And yesterday, when this suspect allegedly stabbed three people all before 10 in the morning, the NYPD ramped up its efforts, mobilizing in a very big way to catch their guy. Police say this is the man who terrorized New Yorkers. 27 year old Jermaine Rigor randomly stabbed a half dozen people over the course of nine days. He attacked six individuals. Uh, it didn't appear as though he was looking to stop anytime soon. One of those victims, a 74 year old man who sought help at a dry cleaners, and the sixth victim, an unsuspecting subway rider on board the J train in Bushwick yesterday morning. Great video canvas produces him walking through the turnstile, wearing the same clothing, wearing the same backpack, and that distinctive lanyard that was hanging around his neck. That lanyard holds his work ID, and it was a telltale marker that helped police find Rigor. They arrested him last night as he returned to his home in Springfield Gardens, just blocks from where some of the attacks took place. Ultimately, it came down to basic detective work, chasing down leads, knocking on doors. It was about walking through neighborhoods and talking to people. The suspect has no criminal history. Police say he used a hunting knife to stab his victims, a stark contrast to what he did at work, welcoming patients at Woodhall Hospital. He never worked independently at Woodhall. He was still 100% being observed um, as part of his orientation. Uh, his job was greeting patients as they came in and directing them to the appropriate place. He is now on administrative leave and facing far more serious issues, including several counts of attempted murder. Thank God we have no one that lost uh, his or her life because of this incident, but it did send uh, real fears uh, throughout our entire city. And police say in five of the stabbings, there was no clear motive. In one case, a dispute over a seat on a bus may have led to a stabbing. The victims, they range in age and gender and ethnicity, so there seems to be no clear target or specific kind of person he was aiming for, but his victims likely had no idea of what was about to happen to them.